I'm Dr. Jen Parsons, ND. And probably the number one thing I hear in my office is I'm so tired. When I hear that, I'm thinking this can be so many different things. So I've started a bit of a two-pronged approach. Generally, I'll find out if there's any lifestyle easy fixes that we can look at that might be contributing to low energy. And if that's okay, then we look into more um, functional medicine or if there's something going on physiologically. So the five lifestyle things I always evaluate are sleep. Is your sleep good? Right length? Is it the right quality sleep? Are you leading a sedentary lifestyle? Are you getting up and moving or are you kind of you know, at your desk all day long without getting up much at all. The problem with that is it's a bad cycle because usually we don't feel too tired to get up and exercise. When that's the case, I usually just get people to stand up and work standing up a little bit or go for a walk even five minutes just to get you out of that bad cycle. Then I'll look at diet. Is it really high in refined carbohydrates without adding in extra fat and protein to make sure it's balanced? When it's just refined carbohydrates, you'll get that energy boost that we all crave and then it'll crash. And then we'll want more carbohydrates because we need that energy again. And you can see how that cycle will just keep going and going. So every meal and snack, carbohydrates, fat and protein to balance that out. Then I look at hydration. That's probably the most overlooked um, contributor to low energy. We know that when you are dehydrated, you do have lower energy and difficulty focusing and concentrating. So making sure you're getting six to eight glasses minimum and more if you're exercising or sweating. Then of course, stress. Who isn't stressed? There's no way you can get rid of all the stress, but looking to see if you have coping mechanisms in place. Are you meditating? Do you have a good social network? Do you have some professional help if you need it? Those are the main lifestyle things. If those are all in place, then we start to look at more physiological issues that might be going on. We look at mental health. Is there some depression, chronic anxiety? And then we look at blood work iron levels, B12, vitamin D, which is super important to watch out for right now. Everyone should be looking for vitamin D, making sure that your vitamin D levels are okay. Any kind of mineral or uh, vitamin imbalance that might be going on. Your thyroid levels, not just your simple TSH, but a full thyroid panel. Your hormone levels, are you close to menopause? Are you in perimenopause? Is your progesterone too high, which makes you sleepy? Is your testosterone too low for men or women? And that will just make you feel exhausted. Checking your blood sugar, checking to make sure that you don't have any food intolerances. All of these things can contribute to exhaustion and you can see why when someone says that, my mind starts to go into all kinds of different directions. So I hope that's helpful for you. I ask that if you are feeling tired to try those five different lifestyle, um, to check into those five different lifestyle things that we spoke about. And if there's something still going on to make sure that you talk to your doctor or your naturopathic doctor to get some tests run. I hope that helps. Have a happy holiday, everyone.